How's it going everyone? Zabby here and today I'm going to be showing you guys the catfish and sturgeon spot here in Michigan. Now this spot is very very good for getting XP early on in the game or well you're about like halfway there basically at this point. Um, but you do need to be level 36 to start this okay. Uh, you're going to want to be 36 before you go out and do this. Uh, that's probably the best like the earliest point I'd say before you try and start doing this. Now you can do this earlier but it's going to take um it's going to take a long time to reload the fish and all that stuff. It's already going to take a long time with the setups I'm going to give you guys. So I'd recommend being level 36. Now you can use this spot with the uh, rods I suggested for the pike farm. Um, if you have some DLC line maybe or a DLC rod you can try it earlier. But this is the setup I'm going to give you guys for, for sturgeon and catfish fishing here in Michigan. So the first one is the bottom sniper 300. And the second one is the bottom sniper 330. Now these are the first bottom rods you unlock. So you just go to rods, bottom rods. These are the first two you unlock that you can buy with money. Now I'd recommend, again, I said 36. I'd grab two. Two is probably the best bet. Just grab two of each. You, uh, you're at this point in the game now. You guys are going to want to be using multiple rods. So two or three rods if you can. Um, you're going to want to try and speed up the grind a little bit, right? So get get both of these uh, level 34 and 36 bottom rods. The bottom sniper and the bottom sniper uh, 330. Uh, for reels, you're just going to go into spin reels. You're going to go to max drag and set between 10 to 15 kilograms. So about 20 to 30-ish pounds. You're going to go to level 36 mega tank 6,000. You're going to want to grab two of these if you did get two different rods. For lines, you're going to go into braid, and you're just going to go over until you hit level 36 again, and you're going to grab this level 36 uh, mag fin uh, 0.28 millimeter diameter braid. This is level 36, and it should look for the same color if you guys don't have, um, if you're not using metric like I am. Uh, but this line would be good. You'll need to buy two of these. They're only 150 meters, so if you want to bring some extra line, make sure you do that before you leave. Uh, for leaders, same thing. Go over to level 36, guys. And there is this titanium leader here, which is 11.8 kilograms. So that's about 24, 25-ish pounds. So it's a little bit heavier than the line, but uh, that will do you guys good. Uh, you're going to grab that. You're also going to want to go into the shop here. And if you guys have never used bottom rods before, you're going to need some um, some terminal tacker, tackle here. Go to sinkers. And you guys are going to want to grab um, grab uh, a couple 175 gram uh, sinkers. They unlock at 35. You can use uh, smaller ones too. Do not get the carp ones, but just grab some sinkers. You can use lighter ones if you want, but uh, I just recommend getting the level 35, 175 gram sinkers. And then you're also going to want to go to lines. Uh, wait, is it lines or terminal tackle? No, it's terminal tackle common bells and then you're gonna buy a simple bell i like the extra high sensitivity one again if you bought two rods grab two of these and you guys will see in a second you see i got the extra uh extra high sensitivity bell here here so in case you guys have never put one of these together before i'm just gonna quickly go ahead and show you what you do here so first up it's just the rod the real line you guys have done that a million times then you can go ahead and throw on your sinker your bell goes in the top there. You're going to want to throw on your titanium leader. Now for hook size, you can use 4.0, 5.0, 6.0, 7.0 for this. I'd recommend 4 or 5.0 just to keep the bites pretty uh, pretty quick. But that's basically all you do there, guys. And lastly, for bait, you're going to want to use large cut bait. Now I do have some spawn sack here, which is helpful. But I believe that unlocks a little bit later. I think at 39. Yeah, so spawn sack unlocks at 39. So maybe when you get to 39... You want to go ahead and use spawn sack to try and get more sturgeon than catfish. But the catfish here are very good too. So grab a ton of large cut bait. And if you can, some spawn sack. And these are the two rods that I have set up for you guys. Now I did bring my later end game set up here. If you guys want to look at this. I have a bunch of these. These are higher end rods. If you guys want to want to take a look at them. And then this one here is the DLC rod. The heavy chaser. But... For you guys, these first two will be very, very good. Other than that, you don't really need much else. Just make sure you guys have some extra lines, some extra sinkers, some extra... Like, have, bring a lot of bait, too. Because you guys want to start getting in the in the hang of um, bringing enough stuff with you so you can stay longer. 
Um, let's just double check the keep net here that you guys would have unlocked by now. So if if you're level 36, you guys will grab this 150 kilogram keep net. So that's uh, that's a pretty decent sized keep net, guys. That's 300 pounds. So make sure if you're level 36, go grab this keep net as well. If you guys can't afford this yet, keep grinding. And then, uh, yeah, just, just remember, guys, this is what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to double check the level you're at, buy the bigger keep net, because the keep net's the most important upgrade. Let's go ahead, grab a license here for Michigan. We're going to grab a one-day advanced license, and we are going to head off to Michigan. All right, guys, one thing I wanted to mention also is you're going to need a boat for this one. Now, you can rent a boat here, but let's just go into a private room. Click that location up on the left there where the boat is now you can rent a kayak to get over there it's not very far um but you're gonna need it to get to this spot and this is honestly by far the best spot to get sturgeon and catfish here so you'll just see me i'm gonna jump into this boat uh this is a dlc boat i'm gonna start the engine up we are gonna go over to this little platform in the water you guys can see it it's just to the left we're just gonna drive over to this platform Lower it on down. I don't even remember how to drop the anchor, so. Uh, Zed? Ah, it is Zed. Alright, perfect. Uh, I don't want to start the engine, though. Oh my god, I'm being a noob. I don't even remember how to get out. Oh yeah, you press R, and then you can pull out your rod. But yeah, as you guys can see, you can go ashore here once you get over here to the boat. And now, for me, um... You can do this during the day, guys. You definitely can do this during the day. Um, really, any time for the catfish and sturgeon. It will be a lot easier to catch more sturgeon at night. So if you want, you can just go ahead and skip right to the night time. Let me just drop this down. And you can see I have the markers here, guys. So all you're going to do is aim towards this white boat. Let me go to the nighttime peak just to show you guys. Uh, so we are on day one here. So we're going to go to 2100 hours. Fast forward to there, and you guys will see about, um, I think it's about 30 meters out, this marker. I'll double check. I also got some over there. But yeah, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to aim towards this uh, yellow boat in the back, back there. And you're going to go about 30 meters, I think it is. I'll put the conversion up on the top of the screen for you guys. And also, a new thing with these bottom rods, if you guys haven't used them, you can clip the line. So what that means... Is basically now every time you cast it's gonna to go to the same distance you're just gonna go throw your line in same spot as before make sure you clip it these rods are very very good they can handle these catfish bottom rods are awesome I absolutely love them you're just gonna go ahead uh, I said I told you guys to clip them but I didn't clip that one I'm just gonna go ahead and raise that speed a little bit and now I do have these other rods. You guys don't have other rods. Oh, we got one on already. Ah, we do. All right, so perfect. Right away, I'll be able to show you guys. Oh, we're going to raise the drag a little bit. Now, they're going to be pretty decent sized catfish and sturgeon here, guys. They're not going to be completely easy to reel in. They're going to give you a fucking fight. Like, for sure, they're going to give you a fight. All right, so takes you a little bit. Don't worry. I'm going to just go ahead and set the hook on this one. And we'll see if uh, our gear is strong enough to hold them off. Uh, this might end up breaking some stuff. So if it does... Okay, it didn't. We didn't lose anything, so it's alright. The bait was just lost. Uh, but sometimes when you get to a higher level and you have better gear, you can you can just leave the rod there and uh, set the hook. Go back to your other rod and still be able to catch it. I'm going to up my drag here a little bit. As you can see, these rods, you guys are going to have hell of a fight doing this, man. And that's why I recommended not to do this with the Ardix rods that I suggested for the Pike Farm. Because these fights are just, they're going to be tough. You guys are going to get good XP for these, but they are not going to be easy. So I'm going to fast forward here just until I get the fish in. And you guys can kind of get a, a an idea of how long this is going to take you. All right, and as you guys can see, 
I got a trophy blue catfish, 16.9 kilograms. So that is a big fish. That's over 30 pounds, guys. So you're going to catch some big ass fish here. The uniques get even bigger. They give you a good amount of XP. Um, but yeah, just trust me, guys. You're going to get XP here. You're going to have a blast fishing these things. Um, I will show footage of a sturgeon just because um, I want you guys to know that you can catch them here. Um, but if I wanted to prove it just quicker too, I'll uh, just pull up my map here. Um, sure. Just go here. And if you guys want to take a quick look at the markers, um, there's my sturgeon markers. You can see early nighttime. And then the ones to the right um, are also sturgeon. I also got some catfish ones over there in the deep part if you guys want to take a look at that. But for the most part, you're going to catch the sturgeon at this one right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and record until I get some sturgeon. And then I will uh, see you guys after I get... All right, guys, as you can see, I did go ahead and grab a sturgeon here. Sorry about the beeping in the background. That's just the other rod going off. But you guys will now hear that beeping since you got bottom rods and the bells. Um, but here's the sturgeon. Uh, you guys will get a lot of XP and money for these as well. Uh, even more so, I'm using a higher end rod and I'm still getting the green arrow. So you guys, if you catch a sturgeon on those uh, rods I suggested to you, you're going to get even more XP and money. Uh, I Wow, I reached level 51. Awesome. Uh, but you guys will get even more XP and money for catching them on those uh, smaller, um, less OP rods. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm going to be showing you guys the California Sturgeon Farm, which is just absolutely crazy. You guys are going to love it. Uh, it's You're going to be need to be a high level to do it, though, guys. Uh, fair warning now. It's... Um, it's a It's a big grind to get to where you can afford to go to California and do this. But once you get the right setup going, you guys can make just stupid amounts of money and xp in one day uh, but i hope you guys enjoy this one and i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you later hey everyone thanks for watching make sure to check out the description the links to my social media platforms and discord where you can come hang out make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video and also comment down below and i'll try to respond as best as i can thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one